Hello Church, welcome to today's devotion and, and I hope you are doing fine. My name is Lolita and I'm part of the Alpha team at Manchester Central. Um, I'm actually part of many other teams, but today let's just stick around with the Alpha. Um, I've been given the privilege to share with you a meaningful Bible verse and this particular Bible verse redirects my heart to reposition Jesus right at the center. I'm sure you all know what, which Bible verse it is. Um, I'm just going to read it out loud to you. It's Matthew 6 verse 33 and it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. As I mentioned to you before, this Bible verse redirects my heart to reposition Jesus right at the center. Um, I don't know about you, but I find myself at times um, going off track. And when my desires um, seem to, to take the first place in my heart and, and become my main focus to seek God so that he will give me the things that I want, then right at that moment, um, I give thanks to God because of the Holy Spirit. And I know the Holy Spirit bring me back to square one. And then he may, he brings me back to square one. And then I'm aware that my motives are totally wrong. And then I seek the face of God to help me um, to keep Jesus as the center of my heart. And, and also wanted to share that it clearly tells us, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Um, I find the word seeking in, a, in, the, in the dictionary is defined as to crave, to pursue, to go after all your might. Um, this is what God is inviting us to do um, after his presence, um, to seek his presence, to crave for him, to go after all our might um, after him so that he, he will um, have first place in our heart. And my understanding of, of where he tells us to, to seek first his kingdom is God is also inviting us to to ask for his way of being and his way of doing before we can seek, before seeking anything else, so that he has first place in our heart in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. God is inviting us to, to meditate in his word, to worship him, to spend time and be still in his presence. And 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 I know that my my heavenly father our heavenly father knows exactly what we need even before we come to him just as this verse tells us um previous previous um previous um sentences before the before i read the verse it tells us that god knows exactly what we need before we actually um come to him and and i and I know he loves when we spend time with him because of who he is and because we love him. I mean, I'm a parent and, and I love when I spend time with my son. I love when he's just standing there, even if he's on his phone, his, his presence just to be there. That's, that for me makes up everything. So today, church, I'm inviting you to put God to put God first in your heart. If there's anything that has come into your heart and taking that that first place, I'm asking you to ask for forgiveness and and keep Him right there. Seek to do the things in His ways. So so that I believe um, really shows God that we are delighting in him. And I'm gonna finish with this other particular verse and I believe that both really um, make up with one another. It's Psalm 37 verse four. It tells us that delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. 
you're spending time in his word, you meditate in his word, you give him, you worship and you adore him, you are delighting in him. And, and I know and I know that for sure, that God will give you the desires of your heart. And um, so I'm inviting you, church, to put God first and um, and so that those desires will be given to you too. So that's my prayer for you today. Thank you for watching and listening to me. And I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful day. Good day. Good day.